Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising <clears throat> weekly tarot reading, September 9th to September 15th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to do the shuffling here uh, for a couple of seconds, and then we can jump right away into the reading. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your uh, week Aquarius, this is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, off of a good start here with the challenges that are things that you do have to face throughout the week, that these are the challenges of the Ten of Swords. Then what we do have, it is the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be uh, the Knight of Swords. And then the last one, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. Uh, okay, so um, it's like scrapping certain thing and instead of throwing away your, your gains or rather like, you know, your resources into um, a specific thing in, in your life, you're just going to say screw it and going to move to the next one, which proved itself to be a, a very good conquest of yours. So before we go into all that, uh, let's run the cards down one more time. We do have the Nine of Pentacles, which stands for the topic. Afterwards uh, is going to be the Ten of Swords, which represents the uh, challenges that you need to overcome here. Afterwards it is the Knight of Swords, which is the positive aspect. And then the last one here, that will be the Ace of Wands, which stands for the Guidance. All right, so the Nine of Pentacles, first of all, it does point that this week is going to be very productive. Okay, so whatever you do, you are going to simply have success into it, either career or either relationship wise. Um, uh, so in other words, uh, the tasks that you're going to that you're going to perform upon into your career are going to be a piece of cake. You will have no problem whatsoever to yield results there. Uh, relationship wise, you know, your uh, actions in regards to relationship are going to create beautiful things as well in it. So at that point, you will start thinking, well, maybe it's time for me to go for new conquests. You know, it's time for me to uh, leap into new endeavors, either a career or either relationship wise. That being said, the Nine of Pentacles are promise is promising, excuse me, the big fish in regards to one relationship life. The... Um, the deal of the century in regards to career or the endeavor of the century in regards to career. It is just that week you Aquarius are, are destined to go for a big goal of yours, okay? The accompanied card here is going to be, oh, wow, look at that, it is the Hermit. So we do have passive supporters here and it is the most substantial um, enterprise that you can go for in the near future. You are to approach this standpoint of the uh, realization that one can go for a new conquest 
you know, with a great amount of uh, intelligence, wisdom as well, recognizing what exactly you want, recognizing what is substantial for you, relationship and career-wise, and start moving into that direction, even though there may not be some people to applaud you there, there may not be some people to uh, support you into this, uh, into this new part of yours. And this is exactly where the challenges are coming around. We do have the Ten of Swords. So the Ten of Swords points that things are going to break, all right? Relationships are going to break, friendships, that is, you know, uh, some standpoints as well are going to break either because they are outdated, they are unnecessary to you for this new conquest or for this new challenge of yours that you are going to place in front of yourself. It's not even challenge, it's more like goal of yours. So they are going to only serve as a, a dead weight. And uh, even though up until this now, you know, you have been quite milder in regards to those circumstances, you know, that could be people which are constantly around you, that you have good time with them, but they will only prove themselves a liability when you start going for your new conquest here. And you simply need to put a, a break into it. You need to basically cut the... Uh, the ties. So here the Ten of Swords represents the challenge for you to draw the line and move um, and step into your new future only with those kind of assets that are actually, mm, how can I place it, that are actually going to serve you any purpose. And those who are not going to serve you any purpose, although you may have a great time with, you know, and you are not going to part ways with them with um, with light heart, right? Uh, unfortunately, you have to. That will require some tough decisions that you gotta make, you know, some tough actions as well that you gotta make, but we're talking about here a new dawn coming in your life, new era, and that era needs to be approached and taken with a new perspectives, not with old perspectives. The accompanied card is going to be the King of Pentacles. The formation, it is a active enemies that we do have. So we do, uh, in this combination, your choices are not going to be that hard. Uh, they are going to be difficult, but not hard. In a sense of that you will know what you got to leave behind. It is because uh, you will be well aware, you know, that you are simply charitying into this thing. For example, that person that constantly asks you for help, you're good friends, but they serve no purpose whatsoever. Just on the contrary, you are the one who constantly uh, pull them out of the shithole that they have brought themselves into, all right? And such attitude cannot be tolerated, or it's no different than, let's say, you own a small business, you do have an employee that you very much like, you enjoy spending time with them, but they suck in what they do. So it's time for you to just say to them, look, man, we, we can't tolerate that any longer. I mean, you are only, you are not making money, Money, you are costing us money and although it may break your heart to let this um, you know nice and sweet person go it's all about business at the end of the day and uh, in this new uh, business endeavor that you're gonna have throughout the week uh, they simply have to go because they will be liability to you so everything that appears to be a liability you need to let it go uh, the last one, uh, not the last one, but the next one, which is the um, positive aspect for you. We do have a person here. That is the Knight of Swords. So that is a, a very uh, tenacious person, someone who is uh, very well aware of their surroundings with an agile mind, very intellectually gifted person. So the Knight of Swords is all about swift decision making. So that what, how that person is going to appear to you. I need the next card here. That will be the two of um, the two of pentacles. So this one serves as an example. It does serves as a, um, a fulcrum for you to look to look into and see what exactly make make him successful or make make her successful. It could be a competition into your business and this week you are to realize why your competition is so much more successful than you are and you are saying to yourself, well, damn, I can do better than that. You know, I can be even further into business than this guy only if I detach from those liability I'm carrying on, those liability that I'm so emotionally attached and vice 
vice versa. The thing is that throughout that example that you are seeing into this person, Knight of Swords, you do very well understand what is outdated into what you do. You very well understand where the cracks into your plan, into your daily routine, you know, and how to reforge and readapt your plan in regards to the fulcrum that you're going to place yourself in front and the fulcrum that you are going to follow because like we do have that um, that sentence into our country here you cannot make a new brothel with the old personnel i would say all right you gotta hire new younger prettier personnel that is just figuratively speaking and for that reason you know here you cannot go into this new goal of yours with the old assets or with outdated assets. You need to attract new assets that you definitely can, but for that reason, you need to let go of the old ones. And the last one here is going to be the guidance that Taro is offering to your Aquarius, that is the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands points that this new conquest of, of yours is gonna prove itself a, a very, very gaining full goal. Additionally to that, it does look like that you're gonna learn a great deal of new skills, knowledge, and as well, you are going to uncover some slumber talents that you possessed but you had no idea of you have such a gold mine as a possession additionally to that the ace of wands here points that this conquest of yours is going to open you so many doors for um for enterprises it is like right now you will have as, as soon as you start advancing into this new goal make those tough decisions and those rough actions that you need to do in order to provoke this new era into your life then you are going to see a vast fields of growth that you can grow into those fields. And the accompanied card is the Magician card. So the formation is the active friends. Uh, it's, it's just about the skills and the knowledge here, guys. And it's about the personal presence. You will start presenting yourself with way more confidence than before, way more sovereignty and independence. You're gonna be the businessman. You're gonna be the business, uh, business dam as well. Dam as a... Uh, um, you know, as a woman, businesswoman, I would say. And uh, uh, with the Magician in the Ace of Wands, uh, it's, um, I, I cannot even divulge it here um, in a sense of that it's difficult for me to express it, but there is a, a huge momentum of, of growth in these two cards. And they just say that the journey, it is just beginning. And you can be, at the end of this journey, you are gonna go from here to here, okay? So that being said, Aquarius, this was your weekly tower reading, September 9th to September 15th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.